Hi, my name is Karis and I'm joined here today by Arthur so we can talk a bit about the Mustang aircraft and Drew Harrison's artwork of the product. So Arthur, why don't you start by telling us a bit about it? Yeah, I mean the P-51 Mustang, uh, very iconic aircraft again, uh, incredibly famous and um, uh, well researched and well um, reported on during World War II. Uh, Australia's involvement came a little bit later towards the end of the war and particularly into the Korean War. Um, but having um, had the luxury of myself of, as training as a pilot, there's an old adage and that is if a plane look, looks good, it often flies well and that's exactly what the Mustang's all about. Wow, so what does CAC stand for? The Australian version was often called the uh, CAC Mustang because it was made at the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation factories. So we actually built them ourselves here. Wow, okay, that's very cool. Um, and I hear that the Spitfire was the making of the Mustang, is yeah, that right? Yeah, I mean, it's really a fascinating story. When the Mustang was first released, um, it was a bit of a dog, to be honest. Um, it didn't fly well, it didn't um, go very high. Um, and when the Brits got their hands on it, they put the Merlin motor out of the Mustang uh, into it. And once they did that, it was the making of the aircraft. And then the Americans did a, an American version of the Merlin Rolls-Royce engine. Wow. Well. Um, it completely transformed the aircraft. <laughs> so how long did the Mustang stay in service? Well. With the Australians that stayed in service um, through to the early parts of the Korean War, um, Drew's amazing artwork shows it from one of the sorties that it flew in Korea. Um, the Mustang also had one of the other great um, uh, attributes to it um, and great bits of mythology I suppose you'd call it was that it's one of the few propeller driven aircraft to shoot down a jet. Um, the famous American um, pilot Chuck Yeager who was also involved in the uh, space program um, was actually shot down two Messerschmitt ME 262s at the end of World War II and to see a propeller aircraft shoot down jets it's, that's a real wow. testament to the amazing <laughs> feats of the Mustang. Absolutely. Uh, so Arthur, let's take a closer look at Drew's artwork of the Mustang. So this one here is called Cutting the Lines. Incredible, isn't it? I mean, Cutting the Lines, such a, um, a perfect name for this piece of artwork. It, it depicts a couple of the uh, Aussie Mustangs in Korea uh, taking out a bridge. And the fascinating backstory is that that bridge was heavily bombed by American bombers and they missed it. Um, the uh, Aussies went in with their Mustangs and took it out with their Mustangs. Wow, that's incredible. So uh, this artwork here, uh, it can be framed or it can be stretched over a frame as well as a canvas. Um, and when doing so, uh, this will flip over and you will have the information about the artwork on the back of it. So they also come numbered um, and signed for by the artist Drew Harrison. So these ones here are limited to 100. Um, their size is 600 by 450. I think the, the amazing thing about this museum quality artwork is that it absolutely gobsmacks me that everyone in everyday life can have a piece of museum quality artwork hanging on their yeah. wall. Um, and that's, um, in days gone by, that was unheard of. It was left to the elitists in the community to be able to do that. Every person can afford this incredible piece of artwork and have it hanging in their home. Absolutely, and when you say museum quality, these ones have been tested and they will last up to 75 years. Absolutely. It's amazing. The inks that have been used are guaranteed for that amount of time. So, um, you know, when I'm dead and gone, you come and talk to me about warranty. <laughs> <laughs> so these ones here go for $249. Karis, uh, in keeping with the amazing artwork, this um, true rag etching version um, is again museum quality. Um, I can imagine a framer just um, licking their lips receiving the quality of this type of, it, of this artwork. It's so uh, perfect for um, presenting in the best possible way in your home. How many are being made? Uh, so this one here is limited to 250. Um, it will again be signed for by Drew Harrison, the artist, and individually numbered as well. Um, the sizing of this artwork here is 600 by 450 and it does have a 50 millimeter border, white border around it. Incredible and I mean the other thing in absolute honour to this type of artwork and these aircraft, that's the reason I'm wearing one of our A2 jackets today, um, It's uh, this is an authentic jacket and it's so appropriate to wear with this amazing aircraft. Absolutely, so the going rate for this artwork is $195. Wow. Uh, so here we have cutting the lines version in the aluminium artwork, um, so this is three millimetres aluminium, um, it really is like such a beautiful solid product here. Yeah, it's incredible and I think when people get this particular product that comes packaged in a velvet bag basically. Yeah. Um, so as a gift idea, I mean, not only is it the perfect gift idea, but when it becomes presented, the presentation of it gives it such an allure, such a, um, a high quality to it. 
the representation of the artwork again is, is perfect um, and the depiction of that iconic aircraft is something that just anyone who's an aviation enthusiast will want to have on their wall. Yeah, absolutely. So you can hang it, it has a hook on the back and it also comes with stands as well. Yeah, um, straight to the pool room, this one. <laughs> so what about the back of the artwork here, Arthur? Yeah, on the back we've got all the information about the limited edition, uh, the hanging uh, hook you can see there and of course the schematic of the actual P-51 Mustang. <laughs> yeah, so this one here is 350 by 262, limited to 250 and an incredible price, only $169. Grab one before they run out. Karis, uh, in keeping with the other family of products we've got there, the um, Proof Medallion, the 50mm Proof Medallion, which is a silver coated brass alloy. Um, the quality of it is quite incredible and is also forming part of the Air Force 2021 range. Um, the particular artwork is perfectly represented on it again um, and again a collector's item that anyone would want. Do you, what's the price of these? Uh, so these ones go for $45. They're limited to $500. They will come with a certificate of authenticity and it will also be numbered as well. Look, proof medallions are unheard of going for that sort of price. I mean the, it's incredibly cheap for such a quality product. Absolutely. So here we have cutting the line artwork on a coffee mug and a drink cooler. Um, it's really incredible to see this artwork being brought to everyday life, you know, on products like coffee mugs and drink coolers. Yeah. Um, these ones here are both limited to a thousand units. Um, you can see just how amazingly the artwork comes out on these products. Um, they also have information on the inside of each product about the artist and the limited edition nature of them. Um, the coffee mug here, what was the price for this one, Arthur? Um, the coffee mugs are going for $15. There's a, a limit, as you've said, of a thousand. Um, I can imagine anyone looking at these products um, will be saying, "Oh, I wish I'd got one of those because <laughs> they've gone." Um, the stubby coolers are going for ten dollars, and it's just incredible to think that they can be offered at those cheap prices or those incredibly high-value products for that amazing product. It just represents incredible value. Absolutely.